Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me Swastika and in this video I will just be talking a little more about myself. So, um in the past couple of videos a lot of people had issues, a lot of people were asking me some questions and a lot of these questions were just about myself. So, um I think in the past 7 videos, 10 videos I was the content that i was regularly uploading was all about political science it was all um, about careers that students can pursue some of them were also inspirational videos motivational videos um videos related to education so in this video i'm just going to drift a little from um that road from that path and take a short detour because a lot of the people and a lot of students wanted to know and wanted to ask questions that were just about myself so for that very purpose and for that very reason i think this is going to be a comparatively shorter video because i'm just going to tell you um the things i've done the things i like and um a little about my journey and a little about my accomplishments my achievements that a lot of people wanted to know okay so uh, basically i was educated i did my education in terms of schooling and uh, you know high school education from delhi public school vasant kunj so that is um that is actually a really nice school that is located in the heart of vasant kunj and it also happens to be right next to jawaharlal nehru university campus um so for me when i did my when i did my schooling and when i did my masters i was essentially living in the same space that is vasant kunj and that happens to be one of the poshest areas in new delhi so for that reason i consider myself very lucky and very privileged while i was doing my schooling i was also involved in a lot of extracurricular activities and a lot of fun stuff like um lawn tennis like creative arts and a lot of other fun things after that i basically did uh my bachelor's in political science which is ba honors in political science from delhi university and Again my college was Maitri which was located in Chanakyapuri it is just right opposite JMC and it's again in the heart of um Delhi the heart of the south campus and I think I've had like a brilliant um brilliant tenure there as well so uh yeah and when I was in college I joined a lot of um and i did a lot of extra curricular activities because i joined like a lot of societies like dramatics and debating so for that very reason because when i was in college i was constantly debating a lot i was um, going to competitions that were organized in north campus in hindu in hansraj so on and so forth so because of that very reason i in fact even on my channel i keep telling people to sort of enroll in competitions to enroll in societies because Okay some people think that maybe that exposure isn't interesting enough but I think more than just exposure it's just you know you learn communication skills so till 12th grade because till 12th I basically had science which was considered one of the toughest streams and uh, then I shifted to humanities so till till the time you are do doing your schooling I don't really think that um students get a lot of time to actually work on their interpersonal skills to work on their communication skills to learn how to modulate the voice and you know you're sort of missing out on that exposure but i think in college um if you join societies and if you do a lot of fun stuff you can actually um get good communication skills learn interpersonal skills and learn how to be around people learn how to be in social settings which is something that you are not being taught in school but for me on a personal level i think um i sort of gained and garnered that uh, exposure before because i was very very actively involved in a lot of sports like football tennis even volleyball basketball when i was in school additionally i was also in dramatic society when i was in school and i think that sort of continued even when i was in college because i was again in the dramatic society of maitri college which is called abhivyakti it's a pretty lit, lit society by the way and um i think you should definitely explore if there is anyone 
from Dio who is here, anyone from Maitri who is here, definitely go and check out Abhivyakti. They're amazing people and they're doing really, really cool stuff. Um, okay. So, yeah, I did that. I was in dramatics and uh, then finally, without taking um, a year off, I actually uh, got through and did my master's from JNU and uh, the course that I was pursuing there is actually called Center for Political Studies. Um, this is in the School of Social Sciences and I think by far the time I spent in JNU has been so beautiful because our campus is just so beautiful and the density of intelligent people there is just so much. It's just so much higher than in uh, normal places. So you can just have excellent conversations about anything, about an existential crisis or about studies or about your future plans. And you can definitely interact with your seniors, with your professors, with your classmates, because they're all intelligent people. So yeah, that was my that was the time I spent in JNU. It was um, absolutely beautiful. And two years, I did my master's in 2020. Um, September, October, I completed my master's. Uh, then I also got through, I cleared UGC net in political science. And after doing all of that, I started working with Baiju's. Yes, I worked with Baiju's. And um, after that, I worked with Unacademy. And of course, I managed to get a couple of publications also. So it was a pretty fun journey. It was a journey in which I learned a lot. And um, yeah, working with Anna Academy was also pretty awesome. So yeah, this is these are some of the few things I've done till now. And um, I really hope this answers some of the questions that um, students have asked me. And um, yeah, so I remember somebody asked me a question like, how many hours a day do you study? And is the CPS course actually tough in JNU? So of course, um, it is pretty tough. Like the courses is tough. I think CHS and CPS have the toughest courses in terms of humanities because you have to submit a lot of papers, a lot of research papers, and um, you have to study a lot. And of course, the faculty is just top notch. So, um, you know, you're constantly trying to impress them um, while you are also competing with your classmates. Uh, so it's, it's not an easy journey but it's definitely one in which you can learn a lot so uh yeah so i used to study for six to eight hours every day i think that much uh, dedication is needed in case you guys want to get like a good cgpa so i got a pretty decent cgpa because i studied so much um yeah but i've always been getting a decent cgpa since school um since 10th grade then in 12th grade i got amazing marks and even in my um BA honors and then in JNU but I've had to study I've had to put myself out there and I've had to take the grilling but essentially I think it's all about effective time management so if you can divide your day into brackets in which you can study and you can socialize and have fun or play a sport then I think you're doing wonders for yourself so it's all about effective time management I think that's how I figured a lot of the stuff out also I started my own YouTube channel which I really really enjoy because it's just it just sort of opens me up to a broader community of people. So yeah, uh, that being said, I think this was all about me. And uh, in case you guys have any questions, anything you want to know, um, any suggestions you want to pass on for what my next video can look like, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. Please feel free to like this video in case you like my content and of course, um, do subscribe because I think um, if you guys subscribe, if you like anything I'm saying, even one tenth of it, then you should subscribe because of course I will be delivering content according to the people who are here. So um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for listening to me. Any and all questions are welcome. Do subscribe, do like and do tell your friends about my channel. So thank you so much guys.